Hey guys, I'm Michael and welcome to Cruise Control. Today, I'm going to show you how you can not only track your cruise ship, but any cruise ship from anywhere and from any cruise line for free. And it's actually real life data where that ship is right now. So let's get started. Guys, if you're into cruising, we invite you to come join our cruise community here at Cruise Control. Hit that subscribe button. All right, so let me show you. There's a few different options here. I want to take you first with me to Marine Traffic. Now, this one is my personal favorite because I've used it more. And I know my way around. And the updated information is pretty accurate and pretty up to date. So... Now, looking through these, you may have a different one that you like. So, I want to give you a few options, but there is one that I think will be most everyone's favorite. Okay, let's start here at Marine Traffic. Now, if you look, wow, all those are real-time ships, and this is where they are right now. Not all of them are ships. They are all sea vessels. These are tankers. These are ships, fishing boats, yachts many types of different sea vessels okay so let's start here when you get to the website marinetraffic.com this is what you're going to see okay so let me show you a couple of things here real quick what i want to do is go in a little bit closer uh just off the coast of florida so what you can do right here in the upper right hand corner if you look there is a plus and minus button which, of course, will zoom in and out. You can also put your mouse on the map and just uh, left-click and drag it to wherever you want it to be. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here off the coast of Florida. Okay, so that's showing a cargo vessel there. You can see it highlighted. Now I want to go in just a little bit deeper. All right, so here we have the Bahamas, Cuba. Okay, and what I want to show you here is I'm going to click on this ship down here. I'm going to circle it here. Uh, that is Carnival Glory. Okay. It's showing where it's leaving from and where it's going to. It's going to Cozumel. As you can see, it shows about how far into that journey it is. Looks like about a third of the way, maybe a fourth to a third. And let's see. It says underway using engine. Gives the speed. And you can get a lot more details there if you want to click on that. Uh, but moving on, okay, this one I'm going to click. We found the Carnival Breeze. Okay, Carnival Breeze is on its way to Grand Turk. And if you'll notice, it shows a picture of the ship. You can get a lot more information. I'm just running through really quick. Uh, now, here on the screen, I've got something circled here. There are some options that it will give you to turn this map into, in this situation, a satellite view. So you're looking at a real satellite view. Now, the ships, of course, are not real, you know. That's uh, But the land and sea is real. So you can do that. You can also turn the dark mode on, which lets you see the ships a little bit better, or the you know where the ships are, rather. There are several options there to do as well. All right, let's move on. I want to click at the top here. You can see Explore, okay? I'm going to click on Explore and then click on Vessels. Now, this opens up where you can search for a particular ship, uh, any keyword, anything really. Also, if you click on uh, Explore Ports, okay, I typed in Miami, and it, of course, pulled up the Miami port. Uh, Miami is one of the largest ports. I'm not sure if it's I'm not sure if it's the largest in the world, but it's definitely the largest in the U.S. You can click on that and get a lot more information. Another really great option with this particular website, Marine Traffic. If you like, uh, a lot of people like uh, lighthouses. You can search for lighthouses worldwide. Now, what I typed in here actually. Uh, was North Carolina and it brought me to Cape Hatteras and right here you can see Cape Hatteras with a picture you can click on that to give you a whole bunch of information okay moving on let's go to the next one here which is vessel finder okay vessel finder looks a little bit different that is vesselfinder.com 
and the it's kind of the same principle you can kind of see what's going on the map and and it is live okay now here's what i'm going to show you this works on pretty much any uh any of these websites i'm showing you a few different ones i'm not going to you know harp and go over and over each every, everything because it's pointless you you can play with it learn yourself but find which one you like you know now on vessel finder so i'm typing in here uh carnival and i typed f so it's bringing up carnival fantasy carnival fascination and carnival freedom so i'm gonna choose one here and it comes up carnival fascination now here's what uh a quick tip now on on these particular websites if you see right here it says watch live now <laughs> this is not a live camera on the ship i you know i'm just making sure because people don't a lot of people don't know this is an advertisement you can see to the left to the right there are you know these websites are supported by advertisements so um when you see that you know uh right here that is an advertisement okay so it's gonna give me information about uh carnival fascination port of calls so on and then it's also going to tell me a little bit more about the ship and where it is okay let's go to the next one and that one is my ship tracking uh my ship tracking .com. and of course all these if you notice are free I haven't signed in to any website at all. And I'm just showing you, you know, the bare basics. If you go to the website, what you can see. Um, and I've got the favorite one probably for everybody coming up here in just a second. Um, now, this one, um, you can see it's kind of, um, well, they're all a little bit different. But similar at the same time. You see the, the, uh, the ships there. You know, you can just kind of play with it. That's another one. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. This one is Fleetmon, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kind of sounds Jamaican to me. <laughs> what do you think, Fleetmon? Uh, on this one, you will need to search, actually, uh, for either a port or a vessel. And then when you do that, uh, I searched for Carnival. It brought up a list, a whole list of Carnival ships. So I chose Carnival Freedom. Uh, it does show me exactly where it's at, and it's pretty correct. It's right on. Uh, not a whole lot of information, but, you know, you can play with it, maybe learn more, okay? And I'm moving really quick here, I know. Uh, the next one is Ship Finder. Okay, wow, look at all those green dots. <laughs> Ship Finder, again, with any of these, you can zoom in. Uh, and so I have. Uh, here you go and you can kind of play with it learn each of these websites okay now the next one i'm gonna uh show is very different this one is vesseltracker.com and vessel tracker unlike many uh you don't see a lot of ads here actually i don't see any and what will happen uh when you go to vesseltracker.com i've searched for carnival dream Okay, it shows me a picture of the ship and it gives some information but not a lot and down here at the bottom it says uh, not visible with your account upgrade here so if I scroll on down um, the information again the last what looks like three or four days maybe five uh, is blacked out so um, it looks like this this you know if it's something that you really want to uh be a part of and it's information that you really want and you don't like advertisements then you know you may want to look at that but otherwise not a lot of information there okay so this is going to take us to what i think is going to be a lot of people's very favorite and this is something that you may have seen uh cruise mapper cruisemapper.com there are several cool things about this website. And the first I'm going to say is, if you'll notice, it has broken it down to just cruise ships, not uh, cargo ships or any other vessels, no ship uh, fishing or shipping vessels. So uh, immediately, if you look to the left, you'll notice 
uh, there are they have each cruise line broken down and they are color coded which makes it a lot easier actually <laughs> all right and here I can actually show you even better how to track an actual ship if you're you know looking for a cruise ship all right but first let's look at this now down here at the bottom you see where it says select all unselect all okay so if you just maybe say you're looking for a particular cruise line okay so I'm gonna click on uh, unselect all and then I'm gonna click on carnival okay and so it's gonna show me where uh, in this region where all of the carnival ships are okay so all right then if I want to click on say oh I just want to know where Norwegian and uh, Royal Caribbean are okay we can do that select those and it's going to show us where those ships are okay now there's some neat features here as well Okay, here you, again, you can always move the map, hold down your left mouse button, and scoot it left or right or up, down, wherever. Uh, the plus and minus sign always zoom in and out, and you can use the uh, mouse scroller if, you, if you're using a desktop mouse. Okay, now there are a couple things here. Also, this one is very different. On this side, you can actually search... To see where the big waves are you know is it is it uh, uh, you know rough seas so that'll show you where the rough seas are you can also search by temperature uh, you know where is it hottest you can also search by wind uh, several different uh, options with this this option here and then again you can also do the different maps you know uh, what the what you want the map to look like okay let me show you a few more other really cool things here at the top if you click on deck plans okay I have selected carnival panorama if you look it's given me the deck plans okay so I could click on whichever deck I want and figure out you can find your cabin this way you can you could actually learn your way around the ship before you ever even get on it okay so here we are it's showing the different staterooms it will show you every type of stateroom that ship has where it is and what's included it will also give a uh, kind of like a diagram uh, it's a picture sort of um, now it does have actual pictures of staterooms but it will it kind of gives you a guideline of what the room how the room is laid out how the cabin is laid out for you okay all right now hey check this out the accidents tab if you ever want to know any accident or incident that has ever happened on a cruise ship here you go now I selected Carnival Fantasy because Carnival Fantasy is the oldest ship that Carnival has and the list of information was quite extensive of course because it is the oldest ship it's been in service longer but this will hold true for any ship that you want to search for so if you're thinking about going on a cruise and you want to know a little bit about the ship its history here you go okay as promised let's go back and let me show you how to exactly find where your cruise ship is or if you have a loved one out there uh, where they are currently and this is live okay so what you want to do is go to the search uh, the search box here now okay let's say that mm, old Aunt Myrtle is out on a cruise well you know we're house sitting for because we get the free HBO and we don't want her to come back soon anyway you know she never was nice and gave cheap Christmas presents anyway so we're hoping she stays out there a while here's how to find out I'm gonna type in uh, Carnival Sunrise we'll put her on Carnival Sunrise now I'm sure somebody will get the joke in that somewhere so let's see what it shows me here all right Carnival Sunrise it gives a four out of five star rating okay if you scroll on down it tells me uh, more information about the ship 
Now, if you've been on the ship, you can give a review. Also, you can read other user reviews. Okay, here's the information it gives. And if you scroll on down, we find out about Aunt Myrtle on her ship and where she is. Okay, so it shows Carnival Sunrise. Current cruise is an eight-day cruise round trip. And she looks like she'll be back on July the 10th. Also, it's going to show some really nice pictures of the ship, not just one photo. It's going to show several. Okay, then the cruise lines tab. You can actually check out any cruise line that you want, and that's a really neat feature. I think most people are going to like Cruise Mapper probably more than any of the others, but you can check them all out and see what you like best. Now with Cruise Mapper, check this out as an added bonus. They do have a phone app for both Android and Apple. You can download that from your app store. And hey guys, if you're out on a cruise and you have family or loved ones that uh, are worried about you, you can pass this along and hey, they can check and keep up with you, okay? It's good to have people that, you know, are concerned and care about you. Even at Myrtle, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, if the information today was helpful, hey, how about a thumbs up? And remember to subscribe. Again, my name's Michael. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.